Now, our next guest could soon take the reins from Miranda Kerr, Heidi Klum and Giselle Bunchen as the next Victoria's Secret Angel. But there's just one catch. This statuesque beauty was born a bloke. You'd be forgiven for thinking Carmen Carrera was a long lost Kardashian sister. I'm not that I'm not that bad on the eyes, you know. But this brunette beauty was actually born as Christopher. He shot to fame after appearing on reality show RuPaul's Drag Race. You can have my heart and you will use my mind. After that, she underwent gender reassignment. Now Carmen is a female. She has a coveted contract with Elite Model Management and a legion of fans who want to see her strut her stuff on the world's biggest catwalk show. An online petition to make Carmen a Victoria's Secret Angel has more than 40,000 signatures. I would hope that um, all of the angels would act like angels and accept me with open wings. She's hoping to make that happen next year and if so, she'll make history as the first ever transgender supermodel. Will the angels let her in, though? Carmen joins us now. Carmen, good morning to you. Good morning. Now, why do you want to become a Victoria's Secret Angel? Well, honestly, you know, I just signed with Elite in August. So um, I threw it out there on my social media, like kind of like a, oh, maybe, you know, and my fans took it to another level. So now it's become like one of my career goals as a model, mm -hmm. you know. So it's, it's something that I had in the back of my mind, but I didn't want to go for it this soon in my career. But I think that with the love and support that I have from my fans, why not give right. it a shot? You and, know? and what do you think? The re have you actually approached Victoria's Secret? Um, well, not yet. No, right. because the show was taped a week before the petition came out. Right. So there really wasn't a way that I would get on the show anyways this year. Yep. So next year, I'm going to go in as an elite model and audition and go through the process and keep my fingers crossed. Because Elite is one of the big model agencies, isn't it? With yeah. lots of the Victoria's Secret Angels on their books as well. Yeah, there's a few girls that are on there. Yeah, and it's it's a, a very prestigious modeling agency. I mean, it's worldwide. Um, it was yep. uh, Tyra Banks uh, used to be on, on Top Model. It used to be a pri the prize. You know, you'd get mm. signed with Elite Model Management. You'd have a spread and, you know, all these things. So, so yeah, I think with my with my agency backing me up, I can train hard and hopefully strap my stuff. So what training needs to go into well, being a Victoria's all, Secret Angel, um, do you think? Lots of exercise, lots of diet, a uh, dieting. Right. Which is hard for me because I'm Latin and I love to eat meat and starchy kind of things. Right. So, I mean, we'll see. I'm, I'm definitely What about the walk? Shot. Have you got the walk down, though? That's, oh, yeah, I got the walk down. Thing. Did you see my video? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that was my first runway show, Marco Marco. Oh. That one, yeah. That was my okay. first show. I was so nervous, but I just, you know, just made the best of it. See, that would be... I've often thought that'd be hard because you sort of got to cross your feet over, don't you, as you walk down? Yeah, because you... I always... I love my hips. My hips are my own. Right. And um, they're probably the most, for me, the most feminine part of my body. So I always like your to, hips are your own. What my hips are my own. Like I didn't have any type of uh, corrective feminizing surgery on my right. body. Maybe just my breasts, a little enhancement. But uh, my body's my own, and and um, mm. it's one of my trademarks. It's okay. my legs and my hips, and so I like to work it. So yeah, you kind of do have to crisscross your legs and yeah. switch it back and forth. And That'd just be tough, this. I reckon. Yeah, it's uh, fun though. Yeah. It's so much fun. Uh, now you're out here doing a series of shows in Australia. What yes. sort of shows are they? Um, well, they're, for me, they're like a drag meets burlesque because before I started modeling, I was doing drag performances. Uh -huh. So now I've kind of molded both of them together and just, it's kind of like a strip tease with the level of, uh, I guess, glamour and extravagance. Like, like, like a, a Dita Von Tees type. Yeah, Dita Von Tees taken to like level 100. Oh. With the makeup and the jewelry, the high, like glamour. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, have a great time in Australia. Thank you. Uh, let us know if you strut your stuff on Victoria's Secret. I will. I absolutely will. Okay. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thank you, guys. There you go, Sam. Yes. Good luck. Carmen, thank you, Kosh.